All right, now we're doing a 7Q number of decimal digits. This is by user 8654865, and 87% of people like it. We're going to determine the number of digits, excuse me, the total number of digits in the integer. N is going to be greater than or equal to zero, uh, given as an input to the function. For example, 9 is a single digit, 66 has two digits, and 128685 has six digits. We're going to be careful to avoid overflows and underflows. All inputs will be valid. Gotcha. All right. Well, I can think of three ways to do this. Uh, we can use the string constructor, which uh, we put string and then whatever we want in there, uh, and it'll turn it into a string. And then we uh, do the uh, that dot length. We can do the two string, uh, which is basically the same thing, except for you just say dot two string, uh, and then you say dot length again and then we can also use the template literals which are uh, literals delimited with backtick characters allowing for uh, string interpolation with embedded expressions so we would basically just make one of these embedded expressions when within these backticks uh, have uh, in in there and then type after the backtick dot length and I guess that's the one I'm gonna choose so I'll just say return backtick dollar sign Where's that dollar sign? Dollar sign. Object. Open, open, close. Curly braces. Uh, and in, and then dot two, not two string, uh, dot length. Let's see if what happens, all right? Ah, oh, looks like it works. How about uh, the other ones I was saying? Uh, string in. Test it out. Oh, just like I thought, and then also the uh, n dot two string dot length. Oh, look at they all work just like I thought. Uh, it doesn't really matter because they're all the same. Uh, attempted submit it, and let's go to my solutions. Very much like it, and let's see, thousand seven hundred seventy-eight. Uh, yeah, best practice in my opinion too. And we'll see you next time.